Welcome back to Elden Ring. Leaving the capital for a minute because there is something I missed. Um, my husband noticed that in this area in the Deep Root, where we found all of these coffins, there was a coffin over here that they thought maybe was usable. So off camera, I went over there just to see whether it was, and it is. We're not done with Deep Root. It says High Road Ahead, which is kind of weird because this looks like it's going down. But yeah, <laughs> let's do it. This is going to be an extra short episode, by the way. I'm on a bit of a time limit. Going to leave for the train in less than an hour. Are we going down on a nice teleportation thingy, or... No, <laughs> no, we're just dropping down. This, one, this one's all gravity, no magic. Where the heck is this? Give me a name. Einsel River, Maine. Oh! I totally forgot that there were parts of the Einsel River we weren't able to get to. Right! Yeah, there's this waterfall here. I couldn't go, like, up the waterfall, of course. And then it looks like you could maybe go, I don't know, this way or this way, but you can't. This is actually... Well, it's a high road. Maybe that's what the message meant. It was way, way, way above everything else. Oh, cool. So pretty. So we flowed from here all the way over here. No torrent. Don't you dare. Didn't expect a lovable sort. All the more visions of out of stamina. What? Huh? It's an empty coffin. What are they? What? I don't know. Maybe something will appear there at some point. No prawn ahead, but visions of boss. Okay. Hello, my melty mushroom friends. again. Oh, here we go. Ool Palace Ruins. Oh, 
I don't think that's gonna reach. But this should. Yeah. should do it. Ah. Such a bizarre creature. Oops. Oh god. Uh... Maybe stones? It's not terribly effective. Yeah, if you can line them up, then it can hit both of them with that magic, like, magic line that comes off. Want to go down there just yet?
Okay. So, well, I guess we gotta choose which way we wanna go down. I guess there's not much of a point in going down that waterfall. It's just gonna lead to where we've already been, but there might be an item on the way down. Jumping ahead. All right. <laughs> there is nothing on the way down but death. Yoink. Okay, let's go down here. Fear ahead, just getting started, bug. I want to go home. Oh, one of you. This time I don't have torrent, though. Armament to head. God, look at this pile of bodies. Checkpoint ahead. Oh, the other way leads to that upper part that I saw from down below, but was never able to get to. And this leads to something bigger, so let's go this way first. Well, it says check one ahead. So, side of grace, I should probably get that, huh? Nox. Whoa. Uh. The hell? The game just. No, the game didn't crash, it just minimized. Okay. Is some- Oh my god! They're riding the ant! <gasps> that is so cool! They're using them as a mount! Oh! It's one of those, like, um... I think we have a piece of armor from them, actually. Yeah, I think it's a Night Maiden. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, this is a whole thing. Just a big ol' whole thing. And I do not think I have the time to even start exploring that, so let's go back and check out the high road. Turn back and then seek grace. Already done. Thank you. Hmm. Possible very hard enemy. Visions of ill omened creature. Oh. There's another one. Oh, damn. Oh, that is cool. 
Yeah, they have like a pickaxe for a weapon, and that special they just used gathered like a bunch of rocks on the end of it, making it this huge club. What do they have in their little... They have sacks on their back. What are those? A bunch of stones, maybe? Well, down will just take you to where I've already been before, I... I think. Up required ahead, except first off, down? Oh, you can't actually get up there. Okay. I guess you'd have to go down first. Oh, there's a chest up here. A weapon wing of Astel. It's a curved sword. Does physical end magic? Ooh. And it's a dex weapon. Seven strength, 17 dex, and 20 int are the requirements. It's quite light as well. Oh, that looks so pretty. And kind of gross. Sword fashioned from a delicate wing, suffused with the magic of the stars. Strong attack unleashes a wave of enchanted light. <gasps> Crafted from a relic of the natural born of the void, who is said to have assailed the eternal city. Unique skill, Nebula. Imbue the natural born's wings with magic to send forth a dark cloud of stars that lingers briefly before exploding. That sounds incredibly cool. And it's so light. <laughs> Look at that. <gasps> God. Oh, the sound it makes is unique too. So it said the strong attack does something. Whoa. And that doesn't even use FP. Yeah, it does like one swirl if you just tap the strong attack. And does a couple if you hold it down. And then the nebula thingy. Oh. That is so pretty. Oh, I gotta try this thing out and upgrade it. Oh, yes. I'm gonna leave it in my list of weapons so I don't forget it. Just equipped, but I'm not gonna use it just yet. That is so cool. Wait, why am I going over here? There's obviously nothing here. Okay, I don't think I have time to explore the other place we just found. So let's test out this weapon a bit. Let me go upgrade it first. No, 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 no. I need to do better than this. This will never kill a god. I can do better than this. It needs to slay a bloody god. Are you okay? Oh, don't pay me any mind. It's not important. Just lay out your arms. Hmm, can't talk to them about it. Uh, let's see how far we can take this thing. It takes... Yeah, somber stones. No surprise. I think I actually have a lot more of those than I have normal ones, so... It's kind of nice. Yeah, let's see how this thing's damage goes up. Ooh, int scaling's going from D to C. Dex scaling's going from D to C. How far do I want to upgrade this thing? It's... I guess all the way. I, I do have a lot of somber stones. God, it does so much more damage now. Like, maybe twice what it did before? Can I strengthen... Oh, I can strengthen my moon veil. Yeah. 
Oh, and that's going to make its in-scaling go from, go from C to B. That's going to do significantly more damage. While I'm here... Can I upgrade my cold Knight Rider flail? I mean, it's already plus 16, but I think you can go up to plus 25. Yeah, I can upgrade that. It's going to do even more frost. <laughs> Thinking maybe I'll try the weapon out on some basilisks. Let's do a strong attack, a charged up one. Um, what kind of a range does it have? Okay, not that far. Whoa! Just with those two hits, it did like 900 damage. And broke their poise. Oh, no, not that. Let's try the special. Okay, loving it so far. Let's try another... Oh, I don't want to fight that thing. I don't want to get near that thing. So is that like... Is that what happens to gargoyles when you just... I don't know, don't... Maintain them? Do you have to maintain gargoyles? Well, is that what happens when they're just left for, I don't know, hundreds or thousands of years and no one does anything? They just kind of, like, rot and fall apart? They're like, oh, God. They make me sad to look at. Wow. Oh, I want a bigger group of enemies. Let's try something harder. Oh my god! Whoa, that is so good! It broke their poise after just two! Wah. Let's do a charge up strong. Super powerful again. Ugh. Just the normal hits are pretty good. <laughs> they didn't even notice. If you do a jumping strong attack, it's just a normal attack. Didn't expect that last one. Ah! Oh no! Oh, you little bastard! Okay, this weapon's amazing. It's incredibly cool. It's very effective. Wow. Just wow. I thought I was going to use the Moon Veil for the rest of the game, except for key enemies like worms and stuff and bears, where I'd use the cold Knight Rider flail, but I love this thing.
Well, gonna have to end this episode here as much as I'm extremely excited to explore all of this, but um, yeah, when I return, we're going to explore more of Noxtella, the eternal city.